and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? Hello. The journey ahead will reveal Is this thing on? Stand for. How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are doing okay. It's freaking it's Friday here. Now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. It's Friday. Mic has been checked. Is it too loud? I feel like there's some noisy stuff going on here. Alright, let me see. How are you guys doing? It's great to see you. Oh. My mode of transportation. My children's mode of, <laughs> of transportation. <laughs> Mine. My kids. <laughs> Only the sound from the video. I can't even hear the video. Not real sure why that's uh, why that's muted. So it's good to see you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I've got a couple special little somethings going on. Uh, first thing that you love the new. Thank you, Josh. I'm glad you like it, man. I'm glad you like it. Uh, first things first. I was hacked a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week. I don't remember. It feels like 10 years ago. A little feedback, a little buzzy. Hmm, that's unfortunate. So I haven't been able to really mess around with my settings much. You're going to hear two of me. Are you ready? Check one, two, three. Check in one, two, three. Oh, yeah, there is a little bit of, there's a little bit of something there. What is that? Checking one, two, three. Wow. Wow. Ooh. That's terrible. Whoa. Checking one, two, three. Yeah, it's every time I speak. Can I delete this? Gross. That's even worse. Oh, thank God. Just sound like a robot. Ugh. Need more. Give me all of your likes. Give me all of your subscribes or I will. What is it? What is it? He said exterminate. <laughs> Hang on. What in the name of? Something weird's going on, you guys. I think it's this cable. Ugh. Ew. Yes. It is this cable. So, like, I'm talking through a tin can. the heck is happening I'm gonna mute this really quick okay
check. Is that better? Hello? It still sounds really weird. Hello? Is that so much better? Okay, cool, 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 cool. I had to... Uh, you guys aren't going to believe this. <laughs> I had to unplug it. Okay, and then plug it back in. <laughs> All right, so here's what I want to do today, okay? First thing that I want to do is I do have a big announcement. I'm sorry if, it, if somebody in the comment section on this video say that we started actually doing this thing at around the six minute mark because it's six minutes ready and action. There we go. Okay, so all technical difficulties aside, thank you for joining. I hope you're having a great day so far, wherever it is that you are coming from, whatever time it is, where you are, um, yeah, it's amazing that I troubleshot that by turning it off and turning it back on. It's just the IT crowd, you know. Um, I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm glad that today is uh, happening because I'm really excited. I am really excited about today and I am really excited about something that I'm going to share with you guys because today is the day that I am officially relaunching my Etsy shop. So if you will look in the description down below of this video, there's a link to the Etsy store. I have more products than are currently available on that page. I'm going to be releasing um, new products just about every week for a significant amount of time. I'm going to show off a couple of those products to you guys right now. These are things that I have actually printed with my 3D printer uh, or handmade, like in the instance of the wands. All of the ones are handmade. I hand turned those myself on a lathe for a little bit and then hand carved a lot of the other stuff. Um, 3D printed some of the replicas that I'll show you and then painted them, aged them, hand, you know, painted them all myself. So that's not like something that I just bought and I'm reselling. Like I've made all of these things that I put in the store. So um, that's something I'm really proud of and really, really something that I've, I've taken a lot of, of pride in and joy doing. Honestly, it's really fun to do that kind of stuff. I love making. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, you can check out that link down below. And if you want to purchase a thing, I'll show it off right now, actually, if you guys want. Here it is. Here's my store. This is what it looks like for me, at least, because I'm the, the manager here, as you can see in the corner. So this, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of each of the wands. Um, this is a pine wand. Whoops. Um, and I would love to see the link as it's shown. There we go. Preview. So this is a pine wand that I made. Hand turned this and burned it. It looks beautiful as it is. It literally needs nothing else. It looks like the villain version of Newt Scamander's wand, which I really like. Like it just has a darker vibe to it, but it has a very similar feel and style. It's really light because pine is very light and not super dense. Um, then we also have maple, which uh, this one's 12 and 7 eighths. And I burned this one as well. I was experimenting with some different media, some different styles of making. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed making this one as well. It's got some little details, little nice details here, right there at the bottom. Some burns here and up at the top as well. Uh, a little bit more zoomed in on the, the details there. And yeah, I'm really happy with that one. 12 and 7 eighths inches. And then let's see, what was the... Oh, this one was really interesting. I, I enjoyed making this one a good bit. Um, and I put a little story in all of these. So I hope you guys enjoy that if you just go take a look. So this one here has a twist in it and also has a pretty gnarled handle. Um, it looks like it was not on something, or not on by some sort of magical creature. Not really sure what, that's just how I found it, you know? Um, and spirally, burny, sort of twisty vibes, very outdoorsy types, very adventurous types. I like that wand a lot. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have here? Mirror of Erisa. This is an actual mirror. So this is a mirror of Erisa that I uh, I printed here and aged it, painted it all by myself, 
and had a blast doing that. That was really cool. It's an actual mirror. I think the measurements are nine by five, nine by five or nine by four and a half. And let's see, the golden snitch, the last thing that I have listed currently. Um, I 3D printed this as well, put the wings in there and painted it up, aged it up. The photo doesn't, doesn't do as good a justice. The wings have a little bit of a texture in them. All of these, uh, by the way, are going to, um, well, that was my forehead. All of these are, uh, things that I, I can make to, to order for you guys. If you're interested in that, if you like, for example, if you want a mirror of Arised without the mirror piece in it, like you just want it to be blank because you want it to, um, I don't know, maybe hold a picture or something like that. You could put a picture on the back of there and totally do that. Or I can cut the glass, um, which is what I did myself. Actually, I cut the glass and put that on there. Like everything that's done is is done by me. <laughs> it's not like I'm, I'm doing any drop shipping or any really weird crap. So um, I hope that you like those. Uh, let's see. Nod by an Animagus. LOL. You probably see Hogwarts Legacy in that mirror, right? Uh, don't we all? Don't we all? Will you see the Philosopher's Stone in that mirror? Maybe. Um, I'm looking into maybe resin casting, uh, doing some of that. I think that would be really cool to do, to have, um, yeah, to have the ability to, to do some resin work and stuff like that down the road. I do have a little bit of resin that I'm going to play around with and do with a wand specifically. Um, but here, I'm going to actually show you guys up close. So, uh, these are some wands that I've been working on. <laughs> Just a couple of things. Uh, so first of all, I want to go ahead and say thank you to uh, Don, aka Foxtrot Rider, Ken, aka Netrunner72, and um, Dumble Debbie for supporting me the ten dollar tier for patronage uh, last month. That is something that I set up as a goal to kind of jump back into revenue and and get you know get some things going. Basically, by it being able to buy filament for the three D printer and have access to materials to make these things with so I can then turn around and give them back to you guys. So, um, this one here is actually going to be going to Dumble Debbie. So this is one I made by hand. I actually hand carved this whole thing. It's not really focusing on it, but this is her wand. And if you want to see it, I'm sure that she'll, um, post some pictures of it in our discord. At some point you can join us there. Hand did that one for her. And then Ken picked this one. Uh, can pick this one. It's got some runes along the handle, some burn work here. Also hand carved for this one. It's really gnarled and ancient magic. That's why you have the uh, the runes there. Uh, Ingvaz, uh, Manus. Um, oh, I can't remember the other ones for some reason, but they're eluding me. So those are cool. And then I did, here is another one that I just finished that I haven't listed on the shop yet. So this is you getting to sneak peek at stuff that hasn't been, you know, published yet. So that's that. This is a really nice and simple wand, but I want to add some details to it. I'm not really sure how I want this to, to turn out in the end. It's got a little ring here. Uh, nice and smooth and clean little wand there. Um, and let's see. Da, 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 da. This is the one that I posted a second ago on the store you can see the twist here i was actually this was actually not gonna lie i was practicing with twists and i loved how this turned out it just looks really cool it looks very dark almost um so yeah there's that and da -da 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 -da. this one i'm waiting for some accessories to come in there are some accessories that i want to add to this one i want to add a ring right here like a gold ring here specifically. This is just very clean and simple, but it's sort of elegant in that way, you know? Like it just looks really practical and nice. I um, I also thought about like blowing this end of the wand off completely and doing something fun here on the end. I just don't know what yet. So that's that. Um, the pine one that I posted is there. Um, burned wood very nice very light like deceptively light like you would pick up a box with this in it and be like is there anything is there anything there 
Um, here is the other one, the other maple one that I just showed. I'm going to show off a little bit of those. Uh, searching for gemstones and crystals. Yeah, I've thought about doing that. There's some detail work. I scuffed, I scuffed this one up really nicely. I think that the story for this one is experimental magic. So that's that. And then this is an experiment on like so many levels. Like I've, this isn't even anything. This is literally a couple pieces of scrap wood that I tried to glue together and it's fine so far. I was messing around with some twisties and a little pointy end there just because, are they all, yeah, Jason, all of them a hundred percent made from real wood. Very real. Not the sound that you get from resin cast plastic like you get at Universal. <laughs> Very real. <laughs> Very real. Uh, not mass produced. Every wand that I make is a unique one of a kind wand. Um, a lot of people just make the same kind of wand over and over and sell those same things. But I want to create things that nobody else can have in the world but you guys if you choose to order one. So um, there will be more stuff coming out there. Uh, as as long as I feel like there, I'm able to move products, I will be able to continue to invest time and energy into making them you know that that's just kind of how it goes so if you see something you want to grab grab it if you want to do something custom let me know um and we'll work together on something so there's that and there's also a few pieces that i'm working on one's being printed right now right over there and it looks so good but i can't show it to you yet so that's a surprise um i also want to get your advice real quick so I have a couple of um, I have a couple of pieces of wood and I want you guys to help me choose which one is next so here's the snitch um, by the way I really love the detail work on this the aging turned out perfect it's like not solid gold like hey you didn't just get that out of a bottle the aging turned out beautifully on this guy um, and it's old it's tarnished it's probably one of the oldest snitches that's ever uh been invented so there's that and then here's the mirror look it's you guys oh look look it's you guys live in you guys live right there you guys live inside this little black circle that's where i look at um it looks really nice and yeah i mean this is this is great there's the there's the mirror i've got to remove some of this little paper that came on the mirror but um all of these are first run products. They'll come with a letter too. I forgot to forgot to mention that. All of these first run products like the mirror and the snitch and uh what else do I have? Oh, I have a Mad Eye Moody eye uh thing that I'm gonna drop as well. Uh apparently I desire your camera. I mean it's a pretty nice camera. But um, yeah, all of the things that I'm doing as prototypes, the first run of everything will come with a handwritten letter by me from me uh and signed by me it's not gonna be like digital or anything i will literally you'll be able to see the ink on the page i'm gonna write you guys a letter thanking you for your support so that's the stuff uh and i do want to do a poll really quick because the next wand is uh either going to be made out of a substance called bloodwood or black palm and let's see which one is next all right so I'm gonna start that uh you've been busy they look awesome thank you Patricia I appreciate that I thank you guys so much for all of the um for the kind words I do appreciate it so black palm or bloodwood and I'll show you each of those uh, after I sit the stuff down okay this is black palm it's really pretty it has a cool texture to it oh there's me sketching i was sketching an idea uh out right right there on the other end uh but i don't think that's going to work out but this is a really cool pattern of wood so i put basically the process is i put this wood on a lathe and i turn it round it off get it into the shape that i want and then i do all the detail work after that um so yeah that's that's that really neat pattern beautiful wood and this is blood wood blood wood looks really red it finishes up about the same color but it's really pretty and can do some really cool stuff with like wood burning specifically there so um, vote in the poll 
definitely rushed by a group of 14 year old girls oh gross <laughs> so sorry to hear that bloodwood is winning right now and and so the other than like the store launches and the polls i just wanted to hang out with you guys because i missed you guys uh for a couple of weeks and i wanted to do something last week um i'm trying to figure out what i want to do as far as hogwarts legacy content continues to go because i don't want to do too much more without like more information because a lot of people in the comments have been like, eh, you just speculate, you don't actually know anything, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that's all good and well. It doesn't really bother me too much. It never really has. You guys know me. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those things where I, um, I don't know. I, I just don't want to continue to make videos and speculate on stuff without actual information. Now, one of the things that I did uh, want to talk about as well is um, another option for the store. I'm going to call it, you know, like the, the nerd corner starter pack or starter bundle or whatever, uh, because and let me, okay, I'm going to, I'm queuing up the state of play just so we can wa watch through that. I want to watch through everything that we have from Hogwarts Legacy so far and just hang out with you guys and kind of, I don't know, like, I guess re re react to it. <laughs> Cause I think that would be really fun. Uh, but yeah, so what I was trying to say before is I want to do like a nerd corner starter pack where you can get, uh, you know, a wand and I'm, I'm coming out with a few more products and I want to be able to provide that to you guys in like a bundle, right? So it's like one, one, not super, super pricey, like crazy, crazy high, but like somewhere maybe around like 150 to like 200 bucks and it comes with several products like you get a, a handmade wand from me um and i put a lot of detail and time and effort into my wands i don't just like th i don't you know just throw things together um maybe a mirror of Ariset and a snitch and um i'm coming out with some book some bookends and coasters and i've got two coasters printed already Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have a Mad Eye Moody eyeball. I've got a blank snitch right here that I need to do. Like this, this kind of stuff, you know, like just a bunch of things together so that maybe you can, um, I don't know. So maybe you can like have your own nerd corner beginnings. You can have your own shelf like I've got behind me. You know, I've got all kinds of stuff that I've collected over the years and I want to be able to provide that. That'd be kind of fun. Plus opening a big, big box of treasures is always exciting. So uh, you have, let's see, da -da 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 -da. that's part of the run up when you don't know that's all you can do. I don't even know what that means. Um, <clears throat> I don't you know. What does that even mean? Uh, you like it, Megan? I do like, it's fun. It's fun to speculate, but I don't want to just like sit here all day and talk about nothing, uh, that I like don't know for sure. So water oak, someone pecan cedar and, Oh, that would be pretty treasure box. I know. Right. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna watch the state of play, and I'm gonna be talking to chat with you guys because I didn't do this on the day of. I was too busy recording everything. Yo, Roger with the five. Thank you so much, man. The five CAD. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, MQN. Oh gosh, I love that first shot too. The grab horn. This is just going to be such a beautiful game. Thank you so much again, Roger. That was really kind of you, man. Oh, okay. I see. I see. This is kind of quiet, isn't it? I want to 3D print that logo. You'll need to uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire oh world. man i just want to start 3d printing everything <laughs> it's the problem study magic and begin to study all right so i still think that that's phineas nigelis black you want to be. all right guys here's the first thing here's the first thing i wanted to stop at are we or are we not are we or are we not werewolves potentially 
What do you think? Are those our scratches? Are those someone else's scratches? Like, did someone scratch us or did we do that ourselves? Do you make it a base for Nightlight? Because Big Win, oh my gosh, Steph, you freaking genius. You don't think so? Hmm. I agree, Debbie. I agree, Debbie. You don't think we're werewolves? Maybe. Um, you wouldn't be able to play it. Oh, because of the, I guess the activity. Yeah. Graphics are lovely. It's so pretty. Uh, Summer Games Fest, maybe, auto. I don't think that's confirmed. I could be wrong, though. Completely wrong. Uh, but yeah. Not to do with an accident or a past. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I think that, I think that, uh, the thing is with it is, um, I don't want, I don't think that they want to go back and revisit and rehash all of the details we've already experienced and lived through as students, right? You know, could the scar be like, here's a deadly curse? Maybe, but would there be three though? Would there be three? And the reason that it's a lightning bolt scar is because Avada Kedavra is literally summon lightning and zapping people. I don't know. Um, not all character choices have scars. That's true. That is true. I doubt that they would give you a side quest just for having scars. And they definitely couldn't, they wouldn't like assign you to a dark or lighter path because of some scars that you pick in the beginning screen. Which you know, that seems a little silly to, to me. I do love the hairstyles though. You at Hogwarts, you I still wish that I could upload a photo of myself houses, and it would look like me. All right, best, best common room guys. Best common room you've seen so far. Ready, set, go. They would not bring us to Hogwarts if they knew we were werewolf. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Jason Momoa. Uh, Slytherin, of course. Bias, but Gryffindor. See, the thing is, they look so different. Um, they just look really different to me than they like ever. I guess, I guess than they did. Um, you know, like at Wizarding World, or in the films. Like they kind of they did they did do like a little bit of a departure from that. They are pretty good for the most part. I think my favorite one is probably this one. The Ravenclaw one looks really sick. Um, like Slytherin's Slytherin's looks pretty huge though so I'm not really sure about that like it looks way bigger than all the other ones and the um like oof look at that that's really bright <laughs> like that's really red it's almost so red it's offensive <laughs> more light in Slytherin yeah Hufflepuff's is okay begin your studies attending herbology looks sick the dark arts, herbology and potions classes to name yeah exactly same jose yeah oh, hello. hello she looks like such a jolly little person <laughs> she looks so happy to be there hufflepuff looks very comfortable and cozy hobbitish it does look like a hobbit ha uh, house sorry i'm eating some ham Hot tea? Cindy, can you post it? The water wall tree is your phobies. Yeah. This will be a fun little wand to do. Class, Maybe do a remake of the teacher's wands. 
Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five. No worries, Jose. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold. This guy is so amped to teach, and I love it. Such a challenge. The best way to practice is by doing. Josh did one for Gryffindor, Brie for Ravenclaw, Shane for Slytherin. Oh, that's awesome! I saw um, I saw Brita's pop up. Oh yeah, favorite teacher. Favorite teacher, ready, set, go. I don't know if this is gonna be Galatea, Mary thought, or someone else. It could be. Charms guy. Yeah. Oh sweet, Cindy, thank you. <laughs> Dumbledork. <laughs> What's up, Brett? Lupin. Well, I think the the question is favorite Hogwarts legacy teacher. What was your first video you ever done? You had like ever edited? Oh my gosh, dude. The first video I ever edited was where I was, it was before wizards unite came out and I, um, was trying to catch an APOM with like a real banana and I couldn't do it. And I published the video anyways. And it was terrible. I think I had like 50 views of all time. <laughs> it's awful. Thank you, Steph. Not bad for a beginner. Hello, Sebastian. Okay, here we go. This guy. This guy right here. Werewolf or not a werewolf? Werewolf or not a werewolf? Mad Eye? <laughs> He's got some scarring for sure. Uh, he's very sketchy because he's carrying potions in. Okay, so I've had I've had two I've had two theories about this. One, he's a sketchy guy doing sketchy stuff. Or two, he walks into potions class, and every time he walks into potions class, he brings with him the potion that you're making that day in the class. So that's my guess because you see him a couple of times doing this. You, you see him one time doing it with this potion, which may be uh, Barufio's brain elixir or um, oh, what's the other one? I had, I had the, um, I don't know why I can't remember it. I had an image that made me think of this the other day. It's probably not Brain Elixir, though. I feel like that's way more uh, advanced. And then another time where he does it with, like, maybe some Polyjuice Potion. Quidditch. Give me it. I'm going to just walk around Hogwarts for, like, two hours every day. That's going to be so freaking cool. Alright, so here's a question that I continue to have. Wait, how many Quidditch uniforms do we see in that one shot? Okay, Slytherin, right? Slytherin robes. Here on the right side, these two guys sitting on the wall. This dude here, this chick here. That's Slytherin. Four Slytherin people. Here is Ravenclaw. Here's Hufflepuff. I don't see any Gryffindor Quidditch uniforms. But I assume that they have to exist. Right? You know? Um, you're not gonna be taught polyjuice. It does take a it does take a month, yes. It does. But what I'm saying is I have a theory that he could be running around holding polyjuice potion. Um maybe. I don't know. And not just like giving it out, you know. <clears throat> Enchantments and mysteries. This castle is massive. So, okay, here we go. Hogwarts or not. Is this Hogwarts or not? Demonic, we might be able to if we have access to disillusionment charms or an invisibility cloak or po actual polyjuice potion. 
Do you think we do polyjuice, really? No? You think it is? The only reason that I think it is is because of my stronghold of magic thought that maybe the statue, the giant statue head guy. So I did this video like several weeks ago. I'm going to just go ahead and, oh, whoops. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. All right, hang on. Sorry, guys. I have to, I have to fix something that I sort of broke a little bit. <laughs> I got to reopen my popped out chat. Um, oh, dang it, dude. That's not what I wanted to do. I have to open this in a new tab. Open in a new tab. There we go. Thank you. What do you mean something went wrong? It's not showing me the video. Is it going to do that? What? All right. There she is, Cindy Wolf. I am going to sub. Sweet. All right. We can watch that later. Um, But it's like a, uh, it's a video on which special artifact I believe is in the game. It's funny because I spent a lot of time on this one and it didn't do very well, but I had a blast doing it. And the Hogwarts like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that guy? Um, that is that video, the secret artifact. I talk about some of the stuff about it and, and how I believe potentially that that artifact is underneath Hogwarts uh, because of what, you know, they're talking about Hogwarts being a stronghold of magic itself and how um, unique that is, basically. So that, you know, you can watch that if you haven't already. I'm not just, like, trying to sell you on it. I'm also just trying to say that it could be something of merit. Now, let's play this guy. I think that this is underneath Hogwarts because of all of the minutia and all of the things that it takes. Um, I don't know if that's Merlin's Pensieve or the one that they found when they were building Hogwarts. Um, as well as challenging puzzles that will so, magical skill I don't know, Debbie, for sure. <clears throat> you may even find yourself in iconic this is going to be cool, though. Like, I could just see, I could just see Deke being like, Master, can you bring us some ingredients for the pudding tonight? <laughs> and us being like, I, uh, fine, you showed me the room of requirement, I guess I have to. Guess I'm obligated. <laughs> Prefect's bathroom's gonna be neat. Not really sure what the point will be, to be honest. Not really sure what the point's gonna be for that. It's the late like, why? So while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, True. You may recognize a few faces. Uh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there. Okay. Gotta be honest. Not a huge fan of this voice for n nearly headless Nick. He's like, that's a long, a long, a long, a long. I don't like him. I love, I love, um, is, what is it? John Cleese? Sounded like Harry Potter a little bit. Everybody's bored in history of magic. We see Merlin's name right there, and that's the one that everybody's been talking about. <laughs> Merlin, his name is right there. It says Merlin. This eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in I wonder what like if anybody else is on the wall. The point is it's fun to visit. You're right. One's designed to help you catch up. So there's this this is gonna be the the gamekeeper's hut here, I guess. Which isn't Hagrid, I believe it's Og. Maybe someone before that. Doesn't have to have a point. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't we need to learn about the Goblin Wars? What do you want to know about the Goblin Wars? What you want to know about them? This looks a fun little game, though. Get the stuck with So this is this is what I theorized here. This guy is underneath the castle and 
This isn't like a, a different location, but it's underneath the castle, and we have to go figure it out ourselves. This is a pen sieve, and as part of our journey, this is the pen sieve that has historically been passed down from legend to legend, from Hogwarts headmaster to headmaster and headmistress and so on. And it shares all of their memories about ancient magic. And this is going to be something that we have to access regularly in the game. Oh, you literally can't see it because of the corner of my freaking screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Not the top corner of my cam. This thing right here. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so dumb. No, this is not the Chamber of Secrets. This is not the Chamber of Secrets. This is a completely different thing. It also looks like you could go up this guy's arm. You see where his thumb meets the stairs? So this looks like architecture that we can't crawl on here. Because, I mean, like, how would you do that in three dimensions? It would look silly. Unless there's vaulting, and that movability would be sick. If you could vault on stuff like Assassin's Creed, but I don't know if that's a thing or not. Like the thumb right here, it looks like you can walk over here and be like, doo 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 doo. And then you can just go up his thumb and look. It just goes like up his arms, like stairs, and then like up this way some. And like, what's over here? What's in this corner? Because this kind of looks like it extends like, you know, and it like this way out of the back of the room. I don't know, man. Wands are more intricate than the current player's wand. Me too. Me too, hidden. But uh, if you want a better one, you could go to my storm. <laughs> it just kind of looks like a little staircase. Look at, see, you see what I'm saying? Like right through here, this thumb is like flat, almost flush to the ground, and you could just like do 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 beep boop beep boop. What's behind his head? Who knows? What's back here? This kind of looks like the other part of the cave. And the more I look at this, the more I'm convinced that this is a pen sieve. There's just it's just honestly like can i zoom in no i can't zoom in that looks like a freaking pensive and you'll never be able to convince me it's not until the game comes out uh. oh i can't take a ugh. never mind dang it guys i was gonna take a snip of uh of this video part right here i don't think it'll let me no it won't that's so annoying Can I write this? Edit in photos. Yes. Let's do that. Never mind. That's not gonna never mind. I should have done this beforehand, but you get what I'm saying. It looks like a freaking pensive, okay? <laughs> Moving on. Magical abilities you learn faster through your schoolwork will soon become tested. This guy. I've been wanting to figure out who this is for a really, really long time. Because I believe that they are part of, um, like, mythology to some degree. But I can't confirm that. Obviously. You know, like, I can't confirm it until the game's out. But I, f I have a feeling that this is a uh, specific person from mythology or lore somewhere. Or it could, I guess, like, you know... It obviously could be like a whole new thing. Obviously it could be a whole new thing, but I really just want to figure it out, you know? I want to figure out the puzzle. He's using us for something. Who is this guy? Tertiary character. I have opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. He seems pretty cocky about it. Our opinions differ as to how much of a threat he really is. So because Sebastian is with us, right there, Sebastian's with us hanging out. That's Oh, hey, I didn't even notice the Celtic knot right there. I didn't even notice that. That's fun, little Celtic knot guy. Oh, dang it, I X out of my thing again. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, though. I don't know. Does this feel a little loopy? Does this feel on track? Do you feel like I'm just full of hot air, guys? It's okay if the answer is yes. You just got to tell me. There's a Celtic knot here, though. That's interesting architecture. And Sebastian's with us, so maybe that's more of a Hogwarts-type thing. Companion-type so quest. 
The wizarding world of this it may not be the same area though. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, and sinister witches and wizards. What are they corrupted with? That's wild. To achieve their own goals. In fact, there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. Uneasy alliance. Yeah. Get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. What if that was Daniel Radcliffe's voice? Who is this child? Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Guys, this is what happens when you don't stream for a really long time. You're just, you know. I think this happens before we get our stuff. This happens before we get our stuff here. This guy's like, hey, let me show you about ancient magic. I'm just a goober. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Gee. Epic. Oh, hey, look, this is like a mini boss. Because that was the guy. That was the guy from um, right here. See this cat right here? Hang on. Let me get a better. All right. Bowler hat here. Why not use a broom? I actually was thinking about that. I literally woke up thinking about that the other day. Not even kidding. Why not use a broom? Why not ride around the map and just, you know, just zap, zap everybody left and right. You totally could. <laughs> you totally could. Uh. Right, <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know. So this guy, this guy right here, bowler, green vest and trousers. He's the same dude from like 30 seconds before that. Maybe he just didn't have a broom with him. He's right. Uneasy Alliance. Wait, wait, back up, back up, back up. And, and there, that's him. That's the same guy. I don't know who that is. They're really interesting though. That was possible. I I know, right? That's actually what I was thinking about speedrunning it. If you could just hop on a broom in a few places and get A to Z or A to B faster, I guess A to Z if you're speedrunning. So this guy right here is the same guy that we are in with an, a minute later. That's neat. He's the distraction. You think? I, th I yeah, I don't know. I thought that the distraction was going to be that giant troll thing we saw early on in the uh, trailer. Maybe. Lots, lots of questions still, obviously, you know? Wow, 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 Enemies possess unique defensive and offensive abilities. That troll just doesn't care about being frozen. Stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. I love how, like, classic, when, this is like, <laughs> like classic movie combat. When there's, like, one or two people actually engaging and then all the other ones are just kind of standing around, like waiting their turn. Others might enchant and incapacitate you. Uh oh, we done been petrified. Gosh, this combat looks so good. Hey, I just said that. <laughs> I love the idea of picking up the people, picking people up, and just like doing the. Um, I think my favorite part is where he bounces the little goblin guy. And then casts Incendio underneath him. Students who become particularly adept at I don't know. Incendio on those Inferi. There's a little camp. A little fortressy camp type situation. Maybe we have to light the fire in order to clear the camp, you know? That is such a cool freaking move. I love that. Probably the coolest thing just ever, man. Slam with Descendo. Roast with incendio. Roast. <laughs> what? Devastate your enemy it, using this one's sick too. Wham. <laughs> Wham. Wham. Powerful magic Best move right here. Best part of the trailer. That's wild. 
That's just wild. So sick. That's a cool AoE too. Destroying trees in the environments. This I think this one right here is the coolest. Where he bounces them up. Boom, bounce. Incendio. <laughs> That just looks so good. Weasley. I don't know. I don't know what the uh, this is all about. These little shimmery demigods statues. They're everywhere. I don't know what they have to do with anything though. Maybe they're just like little collectibles for like an achievement or something. Then there's broom over here. Broom over there. Someone's jacket. I think this may be the uh, office of someone. Merlin picture over here. Will there be different editions? No. Uh, entertain. I don't believe so. I believe this is just going to be a rated T. Rated T. Five, six, ten, twelve, and yeah, fifteen. Interesting. I was going to say level twelve. Maybe you get one. I'm sure you get like one talent point per level. But I don't know how many levels you can get. Like, how high of a level can you have? I hope you're wrong. I mean, the leaked trailer thing from a long time ago that shows the female going through, like, this cavern and basically using an axe to murder. <laughs> no, no, I, I get you. I get you. I, I, I'm not disagreeing. I think that your opinion is totally valid. I'm not going to, you know, fight fight you over this because nobody really knows i would love to know i haven't watched james's video on this yet so i have to check that out before i before i say anything i guess um this looks like some sunlight radial type this looks more evil maybe these are like more evil decisions because this guy's got a hood on he looks sketchier color of blood uh, light blue representing the light maybe maybe these are big decisions in the narrative maybe these are like chapters of the story who knows companions maybe blue is spells red is evil spells I don't know I'm just guessing we know that this one is obviously stealth because that's the one that they went over uh, core overall effectiveness Oh, never mind. That's not chapters. Talents improve your overall effectiveness for that one. And then the room of requirement, maybe, are like upgrades for potions and their effectiveness. Oh, Snick. Snick so bad. That's so cool. I love so much that there's a stealth aspect. Like, see, this is the disillusionment charm kind of stuff that I was um, talking about. It just looks so good. Take care. Oh, thanks, Entertainer. I appreciate that. Have a good one. Yeah, there's a lot of potential here. I just hope that it's more like Skyrim than Cyberpunk. <laughs> like, these upgrades are really neat. And traits of the clothing that you have, too. It's just really neat. Potions, Herbology, and Beasts. Bloop. <laughs> Bloop. Just add a just a little, just a little juicy juice. Oh, so maybe it, maybe that does sort of. So this green potion right here. So you see how it's uh, like it's obviously green. Maybe this is like the first lesson here, kind of like how it was earlier. And the guy walks in with a green potion, so we're making the green potion. Just a guess. I don't. I mean, I don't know, man. That's again all guesses. All potential. See, that's a yellow potion. The other one was blue. Maybe an extimulo variety, an invigoration draft kind of variety. The music is so good. Yes. Very whimsical. Stone. <laughs> I'm sure that the themes are similar. I'm going to love this right here. I'm going to love this aspect of just like chunking plants at people. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, look how goofy this is. And the mandrakes too. 
drop of um horcum juice you will learn about a variety of magical beasts you might encounter both at school and as you explore the world surrounding I'm not sure what ingredient that would belong to you the goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely learning and mastering broom flight is broom fly so that you may travel around the world more quickly I think they're probably going to plan for a Quidditch DLC and a, maybe a co-op DLC. Um, I could see that. Too. I could see that stuff. I could see a co-op thing, and then I could also see Quidditch. I just don't know if they'd ever be able to port this over to like live online servers. I have no idea. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions, and over time, you'll learn their stories. This is our chance. Flu powder confirmed. Yes, is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a Oh, interesting. Uh the and juice of a whore clump. With humans. A creature resembling detention a spreading mushroom. It's not actually an uh So this is from the Harry Potter lexicon which I reference reference all the time. This is an ingredient to the herbicide potion. Interesting. Their whore clumps are actually for real. Like they're they're real creatures. They're not just mushrooms. They look like mushrooms. Okay. Here's another one. Troubling family secret. Shrivel figs solution. Or shrivel figs. Shrivel figs are used in shrinking solution. So I don't know what that has to do with a curse of a family unless it's maybe giantism or um maybe it's like it, i guess it could technically be a malediction because that's what happened to nagini was a malediction type situation where a witch cursed them i I'm, who knows do you know if you can make a bald character probably elliot i'd like to think so but you could rock a beard and go bald on top it's an ingredient in wigan weld potion it is core clump juice is in wigan weld potion that makes sense because wigan weld is a pretty common one that we've seen in the past uh apparently according to the lexicon it's also in uh herbicide not you alexa I said lexicon. Jeez. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. How long it will It'll take to do the entire the gameplay? Rooms, classes, I hope 40 hours. Areas. I hope. But I could be wrong. Rumor requirement. Yeah, this is really good music. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known I love this, the manure pile. Uh, upgrades. So this is uh from Babbity Rabbity, right? And the cackling. No, that's the cackling stump. This is the hopping pot. To sense what you need, and then invisibility potion. There you go. We can do invisibility potion. More than forty hours. I don't know. Like I'm hoping. Okay, so let me clarify. I hope that. We will have 40 hours of main gameplay and to clear the app it's over 60 or something I don't know I'm not positive I just I'm trying to be realistic and not get my hopes up too too much because I don't want it to be like a letdown if something happens and I'm like <laughs> um, so I, I don't know it takes almost a month to finish Elden Ring oh gosh that would be beautiful Need to catch up if we could get a month the room straight well of course like there's a difference in a month playing casually and a month playing like i'm probably going to play um deke isn't sure only one way to find out um, does it look like cool? I think the first, Elliot. I think the first. 
I don't know. I, I, everything you need on your I could really see it going in either direction, though. Because it looks like they want you to explore, you know? Like, it's very clear to me that they want you to explore, but they also don't want you to just not play the game, I guess. This guy right here looks like he was straight up modeled after the guy who played Mr. Filch. You know? Oh, Cindy! You're right. Look at that. So this this pretty much confirms what what was going on. So if you um, the track catcher is it? Oh, that's the name of it. Nice. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Let's see. Okay. So here we go. Wigan Weld Potion. This is pr the one that he came in and sat down on his desk earlier. The potions master guy. That's what this is right here. Definitely. This right here on the right, which you can't see because of my head. Let me hide this. Is Acromantula Venom right here. This is Acromantula Venom. You can actually see it when it's on full screen pretty easily. Harder to see but it's a spider. If you've got a small screen, if you've got a full screen, it's easier to check out. You can see a spider right there. Not really sure. These are uh, these look like to me like ingredients lists, like they're templates for stuff that you can have. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out some of these other guys. Oh, uh, this one was. Uh, this was an unlaunched ingredient in Wizards Unite right here. I can't remember what it was called though. Or maybe it was maybe it was maybe it was launched. The seeds of a magical I just don't remember. Give me them clothes though. I'm gonna look like a freaking pajama warrior. A band of dark witches and wizards emboldened by the turmoil of the time. Haha. Ollivanders. Yeah, this wand, honestly, I could turn this one easily. I can make this. You're like, what did I do? <laughs> exactly, Steph. I hope so. I hope so. I would love to come back to this game multiple times. Okay. Definitely a puzzle here to open this door. Sun and moon, night and day. Not sure. Bad guys teleporting in from everywhere. They're guarding this this joint for sure. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders. I like this too, how they built the castle. They like built it to where you can walk down all these little things. Like there's some stairs to go to here and then down here and then down here and down here. They just want you to explore. And I want to get lost in this. It's going to be so good. Will fill the sky with lightning or sunshine or coat the ground with snow or rain. Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories to tell. Hey, look at that unicorn. Hey, I lost all my puppets. <laughs> Can you go find my puppets? Very well have been designed by Merlin himself. When he was a student at Hogwarts. Yeah, that's absolutely. I mean, like Merlin's obviously a part of this. You don't say. It may very well have been Merlin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gotta be. Newt Scamander that guy right into your suitcase. I want to have some festival buddies. But there are dangers beyond your understanding in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous. Right, stuff. Yeah. Also untold rewards. Untold. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. No, Reginald. That music gives me chills. Journey across a landscape never seen before. Uncover ancient secrets. Where is this? Do we think this is under the castle here? Still, ancient. Really ancient -y vibes. Got a little egg. Maybe a seed, like an ancient seed of knowledge. That would totally um, align with my runes video that I did a long time ago. 
or I don't know, it felt like a long time ago. Could have been at two weeks. <laughs> Combat mystical threats. <clears throat> Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be. I love that idea, Elliot. As you leave your unique mark on the I love that idea. Here. In Hogwarts Legacy. Reminds you of an alchemy egg, perhaps. So this is like this little seed, like it's obviously something, you know? Like a little seed of light. But, um, so... Wait, where was it? Before that? Yeah, so it's like floating here. This is just like wispy stuff all around it. That's whatever. But like his eyes are looking directly here. See that? And he's like, what's going on? But this is like something. And the rune study things that I did um, were about like seed, like ancient communication, the breath of creation, um, seed, like lineage almost, and even literally seed. So I like, that looks kind of like a. Kind of looks like a seed to me. I don't know, man. Comet. Comet looks so good. The swirl does look sort of feathery. Yeah. Bam. Give me it now, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch over to the dev vlog. The attention to detail and the passion. And I love her fingernails. She's definitely like a Ravenclaw. Has is astonishing. Got them vibes. Our team is so excited Pen save. to take all of the love that they put into this as fans and Pen give save. it to fans. This is the game that they've dreamed of for Hey Chandler years. Wood. I love this concept art. The lore of the Wizarding World is already so rich. And all Look at these werewolf stabbings. Harness those elements and Wait. I love this right here. This is going to be so cool. Three broomsticks concept art. I just love this. This is so sick. The puzzle image. Yeah, I actually was going to do a video on that um, a while back. And then I just stopped working on it. I can't remember why that. <laughs> so excited to take all of the love that they put into this as fans. The Hogwarts theme. It, it gets stuck the in there. Just stays in your head forever. For all right. Years. So let me see. This uh, lore thing, right? But the werewolf, nope. The lore of the Wizarding World is already so rich. Okay, let's look at this. These people appear to be, obvi like obviously they're looking at this werewolf, probably dead. But if you can notice, I know that it's hard because of the text on screen. Well, now it's sort of vanished. In the left corner of that red potion on the table. This red potion historically could be wrong, but historically has been a sign for healing potion. Everything in Harry Potter video game history has been red healing potion. It looks very, you know, that bright philosopher's stone kind of color. I almost wonder if they were trying to heal this person, but they died anyway. Hmm. Hmm. And all we had to do was harness those elements and build a game out of it. The movies, the books, they all touched me in such a way. Like, it makes me want to go to experience Hogwarts. It makes me put in so much more detail into this game. Yeah, this that image right there. One frame back. Really, really cool. So symbol key right here. This is actually a rune itself. Uh, you can't see it because my fat head getting in the way. What the heck? Giant big gourd. 
So the symbol key on the right side clearly can see. You like this James guy? Yeah, he seems so cool. I bet he gives really good hugs. He just looks like he just looks like such a nice guy. <laughs> Same symbols on the front and back. They have to match up and light has to pass through. And this is in the tundra, which you'll see in the concept art or the really big map picture. Hogwarts Legacy screenshots. Um, uh, dang it, don't tell me I don't have it. The map, in-game map. There we go. That's what I'll show you. Oh no, I didn't want that to open in Photoshop. <laughs> Just open it with like the picture guy, photos. There we go. So Tundra Gate, this looks like a tundra to me. This area here, lots of snow, lots of frozy, frozy things. Maybe over there on the left side, I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating, you know, as one does, as I tend to do. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it kind of looks like that could be it. But anyways, Tundra Gate. This little puzzle, light's going to pass through. The shadow will have to interact in such a way. Like, there you go. Light from a pillar passes over the pointer to a key. There's the key. And you have to solve it. Puzzle look explorations. That's a really beautiful door. I love that a lot. So these little puzzles here, yeah, that's that's going to be so cool. Solving these puzzles and figuring them out is going to be so freaking cool. I just, ah, uh, man, I can't wait to see, like, what kind of puzzles they've designed, too, you know? All of these little pieces of concept. We really want to make sure that anything we add or anything we play with or anything that we explore really feels authentic. Agreed, Steph. It's going to be so the good. charm and the love for everything we have for the books. And then marrying that with the iconic experiences from the movies that fans will recognize is really just the perfect handshake between the two. Yep. Just the discovery a little of altar. Like seeing things Not real sure what that is. Time. Maybe they've read something and had a picture in their head the whole time, but then finally to get to touch it, to walk around it. I know they were like hyped about the Hufflepuff common room. This amazing triple A Same stuff, yeah. RPG. When it comes to the so world, much to explore. It just, we just knew it wasn't going to be enough to just stare out of the window. I love his enthusiasm. Look at how exciting he is. Look how excited he is about this. What's beyond that? What's beyond the Forbidden Forest? What's going to be beyond Hogsmeade? What's beyond the Black Lake if I start traveling south? And we just felt like we had to answer those questions. <laughs> hmm. Look at all this stuff, man. Gosh. We were creating a real wide palette of opportunities and ways to explore the world. You're going to see different stories that are really exclusive to who you were in the world. Hogwarts Legacy is an original story that takes place in the late 1800s. You are a new student who is starting at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year, which is very unusual. So already there's a bit of an edge and a bit of a mystery. The original story that we tell in the game is your story of what you did, you know, in the wizarding world that you haven't seen before. Or make our own magic with our story we're trying to tell. Fans are familiar with the wizarding world from, you know, the 1900s and on, really. But now, with this world, we're able to sort of create a space that's their own. Hmm. Let me Fans create that. will know that ancient magic has been around for a long time, to say the least, and that Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. Mm -hmm. And the Avatar, mm -hmm. the player, dragons eating people, to sense it and possibly wield it or control it. Our process of development started with rereading the books, and over development, we reread the books many times. Every time we'd start with a new feature, we'd dig into that. And then beyond, we would go into the films. Yeah, I had to turn it back on. Demonic, thank you, though. Gosh, that's going to be so sick to see Hogsmeade to in the snow. Spin on what this universe is was a pretty big Sebastian deal. Gallego. I helped design a piece that's that nobody neat. has ever seen before. The Hufflepuff common, common room. room. What a, what a freaking you know, task, man. You always wondered, like, what, what is my common room supposed to look like? It's close enough to, supposed the to be cozy. 
that the common room that everybody wants to go names. to because it's so They'll soft and cozy. They'll recognize certain locations. I recognize that doorway. I recognize that classroom. But mostly, it's going to be an entirely new wizarding world that no one's ever experienced. So I want to know what this is. Is this a is this a classroom or is this a puzzle? You know, because I don't know. Seven twenty four seven question mark <laughs> seven twenty no yeah maybe it is a maybe it is a puzzle I don't know maybe it is arithmancy ooh it could be arithmancy hmm assigning there's another little dimmy guys hidden in this one sorry I had to turn my cam back off. There's a little dimmy guys right there. La 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 la. Yeah, so Arithmancy's assigning number to words and the meaning that they that those have as well. And then these little critters are all around the door. It could be Arithmancy. That would make a lot of sense. So this is what 36 12 6 12 no, sorry, 12 17 20 Hmm. Interesting. Or maybe the door will just open. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, three Mostly, broomsticks. It's gonna be an entirely yeah. new. We're gonna have to go in there for sure. There's tundra. That is the tundra right there, for sure. That's exactly. Oh, is there a little gate right there? It looks like a little, like it looks almost like there's a path you could just walk right up to. You know. With the teachers and everyone gets to sit in the corner. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like you could just walk right up here. And th there's like sort of a... I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like a door maybe. I don't know. But there's no puzzle bits and pieces. Maybe that's up here somewhere. Maybe you have to go even higher. It could just not even be in this frame at all. I just see things engage when I shouldn't. World. What's the one anchor? Like, because I'm like, I just want to find something, to? you know. What's the thing that grounds it all and grounds all these characters and grounds all these figures? And for us, we really felt like that answer was Hogwarts itself. That school, that famous school of witchcraft mm. and wizardry, is really what binds it all. How to bring Hogwarts to life? Indeed. That was a very big challenge because, as everybody knows, Hogwarts is huge. Now we need to know exactly how this passage connects to this passage for game, because you're going to have to walk it. And of course, again, Sentient Castle, it's, it's got new surprises up its sleeves. It likes to keep its students on its toes. We've put so many little secrets and passageways and rooms in this castle. Mm. We recreate those very important locations, and then there's these other places that are only mentioned in the books or just alluded to, and we have to make the connective tissue that brings all that together. Adding a world that is a That's such a cool shot, man. Is Flying around on the hippogriff right there is such a cool shot. About the details. And as a concept team, also we could be really Puzzledore right here. Got into those details and studied history, studied architecture. Let's see. Let's see, we've got the signs for astrology. Divination classroom. There's some stuff on the wall there. There's a hand. <laughs> Another demo guys. Another little demo guys thing. Hmm. History, studied architecture. Okay, so he said studied history, studied architecture. It's all in the details. I feel like this is me putting my tinfoil hat on, but I really feel like this is all about the details. And a, as a, a hint at team, something. You really got into those details. Got into studied those details. History, studied, architecture. studied history and architecture. Like. I hope that when. You see what I'm saying? Study history, studied architecture, studied and, and like invested in the details, and then they show a freaking shot of this guy right here. Like this has got to be a like a it's a, like a clue or something, man. Was that a face on that column scroll? It might talk to us. I don't know. 
Yeah, it was a face though. I saw that. That's actually the first time I I noticed it. I actually looked it up. This isn't Heimdall because I've already had like some pretty hardcore Norse vibes with like runes and stuff like that. Uh, it turns out it's just a random dude. Now his name's like Kevin or something. And he's just like walking around down there and he's like, Oh yeah, man, no, come on through. I was actually just, uh, taking a knee. I, I had to tie my shoe here <laughs> I had to tie my left shoe. It just keeps coming undone. This plate metal keeps like pulling the laces out of my shoe. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh man. Sorry, man. Hi, my name's Kevin. Just come on through. Just keep falling over. When fans play the game. They get a, as lost in it as I do. I can just be reviewing a side mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Rub it in our faces, you jerk. Wandering Hogwarts for like 45 <laughs> minutes because it's so beautiful. The community is absolutely Dude. going to love Hogwarts Legacy. It's going to be so fun. Obviously. It's everyone. Yeah, it's, a, it's Kevin, guys. Don't worry about it. To actually enter the Hogwarts that we built. This is your Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yee! Spiders going down, giant trolls, little little gobby mans. Oof. Iron knuckle vibes. Just give me a freaking date now. All right, let's see. What else do I have in my folder? I just like reviewing this stuff. Every once in a while, I'll just go back and I'll rewatch it because I've missed something. Um, yeah, I don't know. So here's what I was talking about earlier. Here's what I was talking about earlier. This is Ingus or Ingvas. Um, this is the, the rune that means seed. Seed, creation, genesis, process, evolution, or energetic burst. I feel like all of these could be relevant to the little thing that we saw, the seed, like a burst of energy, like the lightning that we can use or the ancient magic we can hold. Creation, Genesis, beginning, the process of evolution, change, all those types of things. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I've got my, maybe I've just got the tinfoil hat on. Maybe I do. I don't know. You can tell me if I'm wrong. It's okay. I'll just cry about it. All right, let's see. Castle concept. Ah, oh, dadgummit. I did not want it to be opened in Photoshop. If I did this on my old computer, it would have crashed. This this new one does so well. Let's see about these gifts, though. No. All right. Speculation time. Speculation time. So I feel like this is specifically like some weird training area, maybe. Like, why are we on the middle of this rock? You know, like there's not really a clear path off of it, I guess. Maybe there's a, a stairwell behind it. It just looks like we're floating in the middle of this edge of the lake or something i don't know is this a trading area or what if we have to apparate here on this little target you know in order to pass our apparition test to be able to unlock that ability yo what's up how's it going new chatters are always welcome by the way there's a one minute timer on guys for sub only mode um just because i don't want trolls in here and stuff so if they're going to try and chat, then they'll end up leaving. But if you want to unsub after this, that's your prerogative. Also, um, thank you, by the way, for uh, 5,000 subs. We kind of blew past that and went straight to like 5,200. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot to say that. <laughs> Thanks, though. <laughs> it's really awesome and exciting. Um, so consider this our 5K sub thing. Yay. <laughs> Combat. My favorite is this game going to be hard? That's the question that is this game going to be hard? People keep asking, is this game going to be hard guys? How are we, how are we going to do combat? I, is it going to be really tough to do that? Like, how are we going to manage all of these bad guys at once? And I have great news for you. It's so difficult. 
literally for this guy to even exist. Look at him. Just look at him. This guy can't even, he can't even tree. This is what I think of whenever I hear this. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> that was so silly. Ooh. I couldn't help it. All right, let's see here. Um, let me go. This has to go back to normal now. Too much fun. Too much fun being had. Yeah, I I think that it might be a little bit more complicated than that. Just saying. But it's really, really funny to watch this happen. Like the glitch that they shared on Twitter or whatever. I like these brand it, these brand choices too. These brand choices are really nice. Like the, the Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw guy. Like these are just nice colors. I love the crest itself. It's just really clean and beautiful. I love it. 10 out of 10. Flu powder confirmed. Flu powder. Flu powder confirmed. Called it, called it, called it, called it. Lovely, lovely day for some tea. Hogsmeade, uh, definitely Hogsmeade. IMO, fast travel location. Man, I'm really hoping that they have a... Oh, we just did this, sorry. I'm really hoping that they have... Um, like a, a cool HUDless mode, I guess, like a photo mode or something like that for us nerds who want to be, um, don't open in Photoshop. Stop it. This mode should be called hard. Oh, the hardest mode should be called Potterhead. I hope that we get to like take real classes. Like they're not just like messing around for, you know, 10 seconds and it's a cutscene or whatever. Like, Oh, Hey, by the way, you have to do your homework or you're going to fail <laughs> and you're going to have to go to remedial potions or whatever it's called. That would be really nice. Um, let's see. Other theories that I've had other than the the guy named Kevin is this right here. Let me zoom in a touch. And this came from somebody in my Discord where they were talking about this symbol matching sort of ugh, stop opening it in freaking photoshop whatever this symbol being something like this one two three four five six there's like a um a seven a seven layer or seven ringed sun that's in norse uh this also sort of looks like the Triskelion, any of you big, big nerds know that that's a Merlin thing. The Triskelion is Merlin's symbol uh, that he's like famous for. There are also other symbols of the sun that are pretty popular around Merlin. So um, that's also potentially a thing. I don't know for sure. Again, just theorizing because it's what my little head thinks about when I can't go to sleep at night. All that jazz. Did spell creation not be ancient magic? Um. I'm confused. Jenna. Yes, 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 yes. Like on my arm. Huh? This is my Celtic. This is a Celtic knot on my arm. Like that. Um, I can show you a triskelion. Hang on. I have the technology. Let's see. There we go. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. 
and show right screen. Here we go. So triskelion meaning three conjoined spirals, the curve outward, mental and spiritual growth and development. This is like this wavy, wavy type situation right here is more of Merlin's speed though. Yeah, you see all these different triskelions. Like that. So that's what that looks like. And then you see one here, like triskelion with Celtic knots. It's a very, 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 very old, old, old symbol. <laughs> uh, and I honestly couldn't even begin to tell you when the date is for it. But it's one of those things that like keeps popping up in uh, Merlin lore, so to speak. What's this one? What video is this? Oh, this is the trailer. Okay. Yeah, we've already seen that a million times, so. Um, oh, and then here's Anzus, meaning a god, order, breath, gods, meaning inspiration, communication. So this is the one, <clears throat> this is the one that I was talking about in my video, this one here. So this symbol is Anzus, which means a god, or breath, or communication meaning inspiration those are the things ansus and then the other one that i just mentioned a second ago ingvas seed so you have seed creation inspiration meaning gods that kind of stuff so that's why I like i that's why i feel like there's some mythological aspect here there's some sort of connection to mythology somewhere i could be super wrong and that's fine i just feel like it's way too coincidental to not you know that's just how i feel um anyways guys i think that's gonna do it for me today thank you so much for hanging out thank you for for bearing with me through all of the technical difficulties and the shameless promotion uh, self promo for the for the Etsy store again it's live you can click on the link down below I'm super excited about that if you see something that you're interested in please let me know if you see something that you're sort of interested in but you want to do something different please again let me know I would be happy to uh, to work with you on anything like that so uh, please feel free to do that if that's something you're interested in if you like patreon you want to support that way that's great too but your support of just being here is enough so thank you so much thank you so much um i did not see any runes stuff no i sure didn't i sure did not but i'm gonna go ahead and head out i love you guys have a great weekend have a safe weekend have a fun weekend hug your loved ones and tip your waitresses <laughs> until next time peace <laughs>